Transport activists say a short pedestrian tunnel in Sydney South may be the most costly in the state's history. At a price of $17 million, that works out to half a million dollars for each metre. But the state government says it's a complex project and a good investment in community safety. Construction has started on a safe passageway for pedestrians near Arncliffe Station. But locals say the $17 million price tag is too steep. To me, to spend that much money on, 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 on the tunnel is quite ridiculous. I think it's a bit pricey considering it's such a small area. Transport activist Gavin Gattenby has done the maths and says the 35 metre tunnel to go alongside the current underpass will cost nearly half a million dollars a metre. It's being priced several times higher than uh, any government in Europe or America would pay and probably any government in Australia apart from New South Wales. The current footpath here is very narrow and there's only about 30 centimetres between pedestrians and cars. Safe access for residents and children at the nearby school was first identified as a problem 10 years ago. It's very dangerous for little kids. At the 2011 election, the O'Farrell government promised $5 million to fix it. That estimate has more than tripled. The opportunity always comes after these, um, these political events to actually analyse what the best options are. Rockdale Council wanted to widen the current underpass instead at an estimated cost of $12 million. The Greens have pressed the government on the figures in Parliament. There is no community that we won't do our best to give the road safety. The government is spending billions of dollars on roads and other transport works without any transparency, without the public knowing what the cost-benefit analysis of those projects are. Transport for New South Wales says it's a complex project because it will be completed without any interruption to rail services. Claire Ed, ABC News, Arncliffe.